This presentation is a video on the total HMI product. This is a complete solution for visualization, trending, and alarming for both web and Windows applications. Let's first review the web-based version, which is the HTML HMI product feature and the HTML trend product feature and HTML alarm product feature. You can see a live example of that if you go to the website opcweb.net. Here we can see a couple tanks with live data coming from Texas. We can start or stop the pump, open or close any of the fill valves or drain valves, and we'll see that fit feedback. Now I would suggest you open this in a browser in your smartphone which would be an iPhone or Android uh, or you could also bring it up on desktop uh, PCs as I have done here. Also if we go back to the home page you'll see some live examples of uh, some radio gauges. If you click on the radio gauge you'll see different examples of uh, using a third-party jQuery uh, update of HTML5 components. And also we have the HTML trend, which is both for real-time and historical trending. Another example, we have WinForm applications. Those are for the classic uh, Windows Visual Studio development for WinForm development. Um, this component uh, also includes a data component for real-time data access and we can bring in data in all of the uh, HMI trending and alarm features. Data sources that are possible would be for Windows applications. That would include .NET applications for web services, Windows services, um, uh, WinForm applications, WPF applications, all .NET applications can be a data source. Also, you can use the jQuery interface to update data from an HTML5 application. Uh, databases like SQL Server, Oracle, Access, and MySQL can be a data source to any of the uh, product features. Uh, we can bring in values from binary, XML, or text files. Microsoft Excel can be an update from any real-time data source from either a remote or local uh, internet connection. Um, most commonly, uh, the product feature is used with OPC servers. So you can have data coming in from OPC clients or OPC servers, both Data Access 2.0 and 3.0. For desktop visualization, Windows Presentation Foundation applications are really the more user-friendly to develop and also more impressive to, uh, uh, to see. If we look under the examples, we'll see maybe a couple examples of the WPF dashboard applications. Here we have dashboard controls for a bar chart, a pie chart, little quick chart trend. And you can see all of the, uh, uh, for WPF, the applications are scalable. We'll take a quick look at some of the other uh, component types. We have the gauge control. You can have as many different ranges that you would like with the gauge control and also as many needles that you would like to display in, the, uh, in each of the gauges. Let's select the WPF example 3.5 uh, application and really the dashboard controls are targeted to the .NET Framework 4.0 but this is an older assembly that you can use even with the 3.5 framework and within that uh, DLL and the new dashboard DLL we have all of these controls for borders, buttons, text box, labels, uh, even media elements to playback video. Uh, all of those are possible with, within the assembly and if you want to update your own third-party WPF control you can use the content control. Here's an example of a button control and we can update the back color, four color, um, skew it, rotate it, make it look 2D or 3D if you want to. And keeping in mind, uh, WPF applications also support 3D rendering and 3D models quite, uh, quite well. Let me show you an example of that. If I go to Menu and OPC WPF 3D, 
I see an example of live data with some tanks and I can start and stop a pump if I want to. Or we can zoom in onto that pump to get a closer look at that. And so this is a 3D model that we can change the camera position and uh, aspect ratio of it uh, at any time. So I'm going to move over to the wall to like a, take a look at the control panel on the wall. Maybe open up the fill valve and begin filling the tank. And then move back in the room. We also have real-time and historical trending with the Trend HMI feature. That is for both web applications and Windows applications. If you are new to Visual Studio and just want to run the trends, you can use the Trends and Alarms container. This is a container where you can add your own trends. You can select the data source from a local or remote connection. Keep in mind all of the product features support internet communications. And if you want to also host your own data with a standard internet connection, we have a feature called the Live Data Cloud uh, feature. And you can go to the website livedatacloud.com and you can see more information on how you can host your own data, either from Microsoft Excel or from uh, OPC servers or clients directly from your own uh, server PCs or desktop applications. So we'll just add this trend window to the configuration and you can see just in a few seconds you can have some real-time data showing up in the trend window. With the trends and alarms window you can either leave them floating and then save that configuration and it appears so you can see this application as well as all of our other components would support multiple monitors on from one server PC if you wanted to. Or we can dock that into the main docking area and add other uh, features to it. We'll minimize that and we'll come back to that and we'll look at some of the alarm features in a second. One of the cool things that is possible with the WPF and WinForm version of the trend is it supports 3D trending. Let me just bring up the WPF dashboard example. Here we have uh, a 3D trend working in real time and if I use this rotate view feature on the toolbar I can then hold my left mouse key down and I can drag the position of the 3D view of the trend in any angle that I would like. Also we can see that the trend window is scalable so this makes it nice if you have a different uh, resolution on your display. And the trend window supports multiple y-axis. Um, you can do xy plots, you can do sample uh, the on the x-axis you can either based upon samples or date and time and there's even radar charts, polar chart types, um, area chart types. Really easy to change any of the properties either design time, programmatically, uh, run time and that can also be persisted as well for any uh, operator type changes. So let's take a look at what maybe an area chart type would be like. So let's set the line fill transparency to 80% on the first one, maybe 70% on the second one. We'll click OK and now we can see through those different area trends if we want to. And I've already showed you the web-based version of the trending. That is also for real-time and historical trending and has a data cursor as well. We also have alarm HMI for real-time and historical alarming. So let's go back to the trends and alarms container and let's just add an alarm window. Here we're looking at real-time uh, alarms coming from a local service and again we can do remote services as well and it supports historical replay. The alarm feature does also include the ability to log alarms to SQL Server, Oracle, Access, MySQL, and uh, CSV files. We have the same thing for the trend feature. We have another product feature called OPC Database.net which can log to SQL Server, Oracle, Access, and MySQL and it's a very high performance uh, data historian that can log uh, both to local and remote database engines and it makes calls just 
to update multiple records uh, in one call so we can push a lot of data out uh, to database engines. Um, some of our customers uh, log up to 5,000 different tables using the one central service and uh, we've even done some testing of up to 10,000 separate logging groups all running in parallel processing. I've talked a little bit about the networking support that is part of the total HMI solution but really it's a service oriented architecture of a central service that runs as a Windows service serving up data to the various clients and so with this we can have clients that are .NET applications uh, pushing data to like Visual Studio, maybe to um, to other third-party OPC clients. We have other product features for that. There are actually 15 product features of the full suite. Now the data can be shared to different devices like smartphones. That'd be an iPhone, an Android, uh, an iPad. Um, those would all be web solutions using the HTML, HMI, and Trend uh, features. We also have desktop uh, applications for Windows that would be um, you could even generate reports if you wanted to share data with Microsoft Excel um, and send out email notifications when uh, alarms occur at particular times and you can have of course the visualization tr real-time trending and real-time alarming and historical trending and alarming uh, on a Windows desktop application the Windows presentation is the best solution for that all of the components are 100% managed so you can deploy them as a smart client. If you need to know more about smart clients, visit the website smartclienthmi.com. And the servers can be set up in a redundant mode. You can have as many redundant servers as you like. At totalhmi.com you can visit the training page to view all the various videos that we have possible for the uh, Total HMI suite. There's also an evaluation guide that you can click at the top of the link. That'll get you started on where to download the software. Under the evaluation guide, you can see where to download the software, where to download third-party uh, OPC servers, free versions of Visual Studio if you want to do that, um, or SQL Server, uh, free version of SQL Server Express, and then step-by-step -step examples on walking through uh, in within the help file. So you can either watch the videos or you can use the uh, the online help. Those are both great resources to get familiar with on how to create your products. And we have features that uh, like one-click OPC, one-click database that can automatically set up everything in just a few steps. The HMI visualization, of course, takes a little bit more uh, effort, but we also have ways to automate that. Uh, visit the website automatedhmi.com to see an example on how to create your own adaptable smart client that automatically adjusts to based upon what's available in the data source. Using this method you can easily create a system that supports millions of points in just a matter of hours. To download the software select the downloads link And here is the download button where you can start with a free 30-day evaluation to try it all yourself. The 30-day evaluation is fully functional for up to a million tags at each data source. If you have more questions, contact us. Send us an email to support at totalhmi.com. Or fill in the contact information form at the bottom of TotalHMI.com.